had this amphibian character, the practice, right? Uh, as it really navigates between the worlds of architecture, visual arts, uh, uh, social practice, uh, political engagement. Um, um, uh, her work, uh, like in uh, South Africa and Soviet, for example, uh, is really engaging, uh, engaging everything that's been uh, erased and expelled uh, and made into the nightmare, right? So how to bring back this, uh, 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 the human, the human, and how to bring back the swamp, right? That is, uh, that has sort of like the hope for the future. <laughs> Um, so, um, today it is an enormous, enormous pleasure to welcome Maria Pizza and also uh, I should say that she is uh, also professor in the design of the living world class uh, at uh, Hamburg Art Academy, uh, uh, Hamburg University, and, um, and there are students of Maria Pizza here from her class uh, joining the Swamp School uh, together with the NAMI students, together with the students from UAP together with students from uh, Vito Tasmagus University and uh, also uh, with students uh, from uh, Vilnius Gediminas Technical University <laughs> as part of the SWAM effort. Um, and uh, I should also say that uh, this, uh, in this morning session uh, we also have uh, uh, Lorena Bello and Brent Ryan uh, presenting after Maritiza. And then we have a, a lunch break uh, and uh, two other presentations that were in the program by Tobias Putri uh, and Thomas Pouch. Uh, we discussed Push uh, for tomorrow. Uh, while this afternoon uh, uh, we're going to follow Maria Titsa's methodology and uh, Maria Titsa's class uh, for contribution to Swan School um, and that she will introduce later afternoon. Also, I should mention that Maria Pizza is uh, working on the, on the project together with uh, uh, Chiara Murati from the Associazione Sociale per la Casa. <laughs> yeah, Chiara yeah. Belkan. And, uh, and it, is, it is wonderful uh, uh, for us to follow uh, your presentation, Maria Pizza. And now, uh, please join me in welcoming Maria Pizza. <laughs> Thank you, Vedimina. Is this working? Yes? No? No? Hello, hello. Yes. Okay. So, thank you for this very nice introduction. I'm super happy to be here. And also, uh, it's, uh, I'm really, really happy uh, that uh, this project is in partnership with ASK. Uh, as Vedimina said, ASK means Associazione Sociale per la Casa, uh, where I actually have also a little uh, private moment in 2010, I'll tell you later. So uh, the scenario today is I will talk a lot about why participation matters today. Uh, it will not be really philosophy, but more what is going on politically. And uh, then uh, Chiara will join me here and she will talk about ASK and what basically is ASK. Um, after, in the afternoon from 2 to 5 o'clock we plan to go to Judeca, to the neighborhood of Casite, uh, to see the ASK projects there and <coughs> also uh, to visit uh, Sale Dog at 4 o'clock uh, and uh, we will talk with um, uh, Marco Marco, Marco Baravale, Bar Bar the director of uh, Sale Dog. Um, so let me start. Um, so um, today, actually, it was uh, I came yesterday uh, around noon, and uh, it was super inspiring to be uh, to listen to uh, to talks in the afternoon. And uh, uh, guess what? I will also revisit in my talk the usual suspects we talked about yesterday, the 60s, the future, and the imaginary. But first of all, uh, I have to uh, I'll present two quotes by two politicians. So I will try to uh, explain the relationship between the government and residents in cities today and why it is important that uh, participation is reactivated. 
so we are looking here at the uh, at um, prime minister, former prime minister of UK, David Cameron, and when he came to power, he introduced. Uh, the term big society. So what does big society mean? And I have a quote here, it says, uh, for big society, it's important to have a groundbreaking shift in power to councils and communities. So he's talking on, about empowerment of the local, but also the, about the withdrawal of the social state, right? And uh, for me, this was very interesting because he's sort of a right uh, of the center politician. And since I worked also in Chavez, uh, Venezuela sometime, uh, this would be a typical uh, quote from Hugo Chavez, the former president of, of Venezuela. So I thought it's actually interesting that the right of wing and left uh, wing politicians are talking about the same thing that actually we already live in participatory democracy. Um, of course, it means different from us who are thinking about ourselves as being bottom up and the government. The government talks about the withdrawal of the state and we talk about the importance of uh, empowerment of residents. To teach here, uh, I started to look for an apartment and it turned out that the apartments were so expensive that actually I would use all of my money, which I would get from the university, to pay for the apartment. And I said, no, I'm not do going to do it. And at the time, I was in a meeting with uh, Exist and Terry Biennale and some other people, including uh, representatives of ASK. And Marina Nebbiolo, who is a part of ASK community, she actually offered me to stay there because in the ethics of ASK, if people don't have a place to stay, they are offered this hospitality. And so I did stay in one of the ASK housing and I got to know them uh, very well. And uh, yeah, we, we hope that you will join us in the afternoon uh, on this trip. Yes. Yeah. You want to see yes. Grazie, grazie Maria. Um, my English is not so good, so I try maybe slowly to explain something about ask. And uh, yes, if, if I lose some word, I ask help to you so we can finish together maybe my, my speech. Um, Assemblea Sociale per la Casa, it's a reality here in Venice that it's based uh, since, uh, I think, more or less 20 years, because it's starting uh, this process uh, from uh, 1999, uh, the early 2000. Uh, and it's starting from uh, activist people that are here in Venice and uh, are part of uh, social movements. And they they belong to the the um, yes the social center. I don't know if you know this reality here in Italy. You know, it's a big uh, a big network. Uh, it's extra parliamentary and left. Uh, and uh, also here in Venice, it's uh, based since a long time. And uh, uh, some activists start to think about the issue of the uh, of the housing because here in Venice it's a big problem since uh, a lot of years. Um, and uh, the focus um, is, uh, is the public houses because here in Venice we have a lot of uh, public houses and it's empty since 20, 15, 10 years. Uh, and uh, at that time uh, a lot of young people like uh, students uh, that uh, ca came here in, uh, in Venice to finish the university to do UAB or Kafoskari or, or uh, cultural uh, workers uh, that work in the Biennale or uh, in the other uh, mu museum here in the city uh, cannot afford the, the, the rent. And um, so uh, this, this group of people start and, uh, thinking about what we can do in, in this city, what is the action that we can take and the, and the speech that we can do with the people in the city to, to um, make it understand uh, the relation uh, about the life of one people, of one person, sorry, related to the city, to the survivor of the city. Uh, so the, the action that took place uh, first was the, the reopening of these houses, of these empty houses, pu public, that belonged to the region, to Veneto region. Uh, and, uh, and it 
this is the way that the Ask story starts in some way. In the 2012, we have a sort of rebirth of Ask uh, because we start uh, doing uh, some public uh, moments in the city, uh, in some public assemblies in, uh, in all the neighborhood of, of Venice. Uh, focusing the the housing problem, of course, uh, we face this problem in Venice for the um, for the tourism uh, industry, but uh, it's a problem that we have in all parts of Italy, uh, of course, uh, related to the public houses and the welfare state. Uh, so we 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 try to enlarge the discourse not only uh, for the people that uh, the young people or activists that can do this kind of action. Uh, but also for all the people, the families, the Venetian people or the migrants that are in the city and cannot uh, face the, the rental market. Uh, so, um, starting from this assembly that we, the first one was in the Judeca neighborhood, the neighborhood we will see in the afternoon, and we mm, didn't expect so many people, but there are, uh, uh, there were, uh, I think, one, 100, 200 people in this assembly. Uh, so we decided to uh, to say to make a mark in all the empty houses that we have in that neighborhood that at that time were more or less uh, I think 60 uh, and uh, apartments and uh, and we yes we signed all these apartments and we decided to make a public action and reopen and uh, occupying this apartment with families, with young people, with young students. Some of them are here now, some you can meet in the afternoon. And uh, yes, we reopened the, this, these apartments, are very small, but uh, uh, you can see in the afternoon, I think it's also nice that we can uh, share this, uh, uh, this project with you, also touching it. And uh, we reopen this, this apartment, so we restore it, we fix it, because it's an apartment that uh, the region and the municipality did, uh, do not give to the people because they, are, they need some works inside, you know, in the, um, it, they need restoring, fixing stuff like, uh, that, and they say that they have no money to do it. So this is the reason why these apartments uh, are closed by years and years. And uh, in this, in this um, process, we open these houses, but also create a, um, a discourse in the city, uh, a point, and we open this kind of, uh, of, of action to other people, also who do not decide to squat the house, to occupy the house, but also want to stay in Venice, want to remain in Venice, and want to and ask himself what they can do. To, to stay here in, uh, in the city. In these last years, we put together a lot of different associations and groups in the city, also very different um, one to another, because, for example, us do illegal things, because spotting an house is an illegal, uh, an illegal act, of course. Uh, other, other have not this point uh, of view, maybe, but uh, we uh, try to find um, like a, a frame that can put all together in this, for the issue of the housing rights here in the city. And uh, I think we succeed in it because uh, in these two years we had a lot of demonstration in the city, uh, especially in, in for the new measure that we have since two years and a half. Uh, and, uh, and we collect a, a lot of people that belong to really different groups and associations. We also succeed in seat uh, in, a, in a table with the municipality, with the institution, uh, just because we do this kind of demonstration, we do public assemblies, we, um, we try to, to build a demonstration with a lot of people in the street, and then we succeed in, in having this confrontation with the, with the institution. Uh, we brought a project about this, uh, about uh, the assignation, assignation, no, <laughs> about the, yes, the assignation of the houses. And we proposed this project to the institution, to the region, to the municipality. Uh, it's a project, of course, that uh, included the restoring of the house. Uh, and we try to, in this year, to, to find cooperation and uh, to work together also with uh, not only group from belonging from the city but for example like this this moment we have uh, two years ago with the um, rural studio that uh, is from uh, Auburn University 
dei campi di biennale, dei vos in, in un pavilion in biennale, e dei putti in cotta with us e ask uh, and, and ask to us uh, what we can do for the city, because we don't want just to show something in the biennale that we can throw out at the end, we want to show something that we can reuse in the city. And, uh, and uh, this is the cooperation that we made with them and with the material that they show in this, uh, uh, at the Biennale. At the end, we uh, restore an apartment, we can see in the afternoon in this apartment at the Casetta neighborhood. Uh, this is one example, but uh, uh, also Maria Tizza before talked about Re Biennale. That is another, uh, another group of people now, with, they are uh, really uh, an, um, a society now but it starts oh, oh, everything started years ago uh, about the biennale uh, that all the material that they are showing in biennale they throw away at the end of the uh, of the show uh, and uh, some of these guys that belong to the uh, uh, social scene here in the, in venice ask themselves why we cannot collect this material and do something for the community, for our apartment, for the project we in the city. And it's starting uh, like with this idea and now it's a work for a lot of people and it's also uh, something that uh, we use in, uh, in exchange with us because we uh, built uh, material for the houses with the material that we collect from the Biennale, so like wood uh, or everything that we can use inside. Uh, in, in the houses, we do, uh, they do projects also in the city, but also in the uh, Sally Docks, we will see in the afternoon also that. Uh, so uh, um, we can see li like how the network in these years, starting from uh, um, a need that is real, that is uh, an, uh, a roof <laughs> upon our head, is something that is spread in a, in a lot of ways, in different ways in the city. Also developing work, for example, like Re Biennale, uh, and, uh, and also keep, uh, keeping people in Venice because we are losing 1,000 inhabitants per year. In this, uh, in this moment. Every year we lose 1,000 people, or 1,000 years inhabitants. And uh, Hask now has uh, more or less 70 apartments, so if, uh, they are families with children, uh, and uh, you can imagine we have like uh, 150 people that uh, stay in Venice. They remain here for, for this reason. They also uh, put work and uh, cooperation to restore the house and it is something that not belong to, to them, but it's something that belongs to the public. So it's something that when we go away from this house, it's uh, something that go back to the public, to the institution, no? it's something that belongs to every one of us. Uh, so I think that is something that is very rich also for the institution. Of course, it's always uh, something that you have to to face with some um, with power. You have to build some power. Come si dice rapporti di forza, no? Power relations. Grazie. Relations and. Uh, uh, and, and, and depends also in the in the willing of the institution what they want to to give or they want what they want to do or or, or what they want to accept from you. Uh, I can say that in this year we are um, really lucky also because we don't face a lot of eviction in our in our network. We we always stop eviction, uh, but it's not the same in the other part of Italy. And I don't know if you know, but maybe Rome or the other big city where the the uh, the problem of the uh, the housing problem is very is very strong. It's not the same uh, like here. And we uh, are lucky. It's, it's not a real, but we are lucky also because we, we in Venice we face this problem related to the tourism, and the touristification of Venice now is a, a process that are really strong, and they and it's changing everything now and uh, the relation with the housing problem from, from for the people that belong from Venice and also for the students, the people that want to, to stay here is very is very. Uh, for example, I was. Um, telling yesterday to you, the, uh, the 10th of June we have this demonstration in the city that uh, was organized uh, by a uh, committee against the cruise ship here in Venice. That is a committee that exists uh, since uh, six years. 
and uh, they start in 10 now they are like uh, when they do demonstration 5,000 people 4,000 people in the street but the, this last uh, uh, demonstration uh, from the committee from the point of view of the committee that is uh, we want a big cruise ship outside of the lagoon uh, they say okay this is our point we want to reach this goal but we want also to uh, open our uh, perspective uh, to uh, to the others, to the others that are active in the city, and uh, to the others that have another idea of the city, because this is the point. We can we can keep the big cruise ship outside of the lagoon, but if we don't have inhabitants in the city, we can also have a, a car or street. It's the same. But so um, so this. It's a, like a beginning, I think, uh, of a, uh, a real big, uh, um, also hard work that uh, we can do here in the city now because we don't have a real opposition to this uh, major. So we can build now in the city for these two years that we will face the new election, uh, like, uh, I hope, a social opposition, but also a social proposal to change mm, the way in which uh, Venice uh, are going now. Um, I don't know. I can talk about more more about the uh, ask process, or I don't know. It's just um, I don't prepare something specific, also because we have the afternoon and there are a lot of things that we can show. But if you want to maybe um, make some question uh, about something, I think is the better thing. So I can uh, give uh, more information as you like, or I, I I don't know if I have to leave time for the other. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask how, how is the legal situation with the houses that you reopen? Do you reopen them and do you then go in contact with the, with the owner or how is it? Okay, the, the owner of this house is the region, the Veneto region, yeah. this public house, okay? And the, the, the name is Ater, the, the name of the and um, we do it uh, in a public way. Uh, when I say before uh, we have this uh, assembly in the neighborhood and after we decide to take action and we do public occupation. We say we call uh, also the newspaper, the local newspaper, we do videos uh, also to um, make understand people uh, in which situation these houses are when we open it. Uh, and um, so of course, uh, when one, um, one person go inside, one family, of course, uh, it's uh, public that you do illegal stuff. So uh, you have the, this um, word in English, still not, so denuncia. Su. Su. Okay. Uh, so, for, ah, okay. Non saprò dire neanche dopo, però. So, police come, uh, okay. Uh, and um, but they don't try to keep outside you in the past time at the, at the very beginning yes they came they came with the shield uh, all the stuff uh, but luckily we are in Venice so we have a really small street so also we organize with shield and we stay in front of the doors uh, sometimes they go in uh, in the night time, like in 4 uh, a.m., 5 a.m., so they come inside the house, there is maybe just one person, so they succeed in, uh, in, 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 in the eviction. Uh, after this, we go, we face also legal, um, in the court, the court. So uh, when we face the first one, we win it, we won it because we um, demonstrate that we restore the house, the work that we do inside, we pay a rent. Every one of us pay a rent to the, to the other, to the owner. It's of course symbolic one, like 10 euro, 20 euro per, per month, but we all, all of us pay this rent. And of course, we don't see the money back. Um, we pay, of course, all the bills like electricity or water and, and stuff. Um, and so uh, this um, in the court they decide okay you do illegal stuff of course there is not something that we can do in a in a uh, in, in this way we can we can give you the uh, administrative eviction so we have uh, each four or five months uh, people belonging from uh, the municipality that come 
there with the carabinieri or police uh, and say to us that we have the eviction. We organize uh, to be a, a, a group in, in one neighborhood, uh, all the people that live in this neighborhood, in another or the others, and we just uh, stay together in the morning that we have this eviction. We succeed always in uh, postpo postponing the, the eviction, also for the situation, also for the, for the fact that we have been facing with the situation. It's something also uh, that depends on it. Of course, it's something that depends on the, f on the fact that we are uh, in some way debating with the institution. So it's not something that are, they just uh, are illegal, they, they have just to, um, to go away from the houses. Um, so yes, in, in this um, last year we, we, we won a lot of uh, court process uh, about the occupation. Uh, they just give us a fine, a, a fine, yes, I can say also a little fine, I think. Uh, but uh, everyone go really, really well. We also have, a, I think, a very good lawyer, but uh, uh, it's something that because you demonstrate that you are doing something for the community, I think it's all, also the in the court is something that uh, in resulting. <laughs> How many apartments uh, are occupied? Seventy, more or less seventy. Around, around the. Around yes, it's uh, the um, yeah, it's in around all the city because uh, uh, there are some neighbors like Santa Marta, like Giudecca, uh, like Castello uh, that I have. Um, the most concentration of public houses. Okay, so mm -hmm. we just spread, you know, the neighborhood. Oh, I have a question. Okay. Sorry. I have uh, a couple of questions for the one first presentation and the second presentation. About the first presentation, we talked a lot about the uh, participatory democracy and presented some examples, like in Berlin. And uh, uh, you know that original political philosophy, political theory, participatory democracy is criticized because the levels and uh, deliberate it means that okay, when everything is peaceful and everything is okay, if there is some figure and some funding supporting this happens, you know, but uh, when some conflict uh, happens, for example, between workers and the uh, unions and the uh, Local companies, uh, this participatory, uh, the idea of participatory uh, democracy looks not, uh, look, looks like not sufficient. It's not wrong, but not sufficient. And it presupposes that completely different strategies like conflict, the development, organism, conflict, trade unionism, you know, uh, street actions, uh, direct actions. And my question is how do you consider your concept of uh, the uh, uh, deliberative uh, democracy in the context of uh, social and uh, um, uh, union conflicts. And the second, I would like to, to ask that it's much shorter. A question you discussed a lot about the local social, social, I would say even socialist uh, uh, problems in Venice, uh, but uh, that my question will be about internalization, internationalization, internationalization of the problem because you know that for example about uh, uh, about uh, uh, what, what do you think many of these problems in my opinion could be solved partly at least through internet, uh, internationalization participation in squat international you know movement or somewhere but not alone here you know that's good because alone means nationalism means you know all these righteous solutions yeah, I just like uh, just to answer like shortly your second question and uh, okay, I don't will follow on later. Uh, I think that uh, all solutions are now local solutions. Uh, so it's actually we face a new paradigm because in modernity we were like people were looking for one solution, one contract. But there will be many different contracts now. But just to answer your first question, I actually don't believe in unions anymore. I think unions are somehow a product of the 20th century, so we would need to reimagine these uh, social contracts. And uh, the case of ASK is actually a laboratory, uh, uh, like a tool that we can use to change the social contract. 
So we are in the, these kind of projects are very important for me because we are reimagining overall social contract. As we know, representative democracy is not really working. Yes, of course, it's not something that is just local. Mm, uh, as I said before, like um, Rome or other city, we are a network, of course, here in, the, in, in Italy, uh, of, of movement about uh, the housing right. Uh, and of course, we also are um, in discussing with other people. In other, for example, uh, uh, a couple of months ago, I was in contact with uh, some people from Berlin uh, that have uh, eviction, uh, and uh, it's something that we just try to put together because, of course, the gentrification, the touristification of the city is something that we can we see in, uh, in, a, in a lot of. Uh, uh, of cities like Barcelona or uh, in in other in other country. So of course we also have this exchange. We go there. They come here. We build together some workshop like this or some days of discussions. Uh, yes, I, I also I think that the the internacion, interna, internationalism. Uh, yeah, it's very important. Um, of course, uh, uh, the the specific. Uh, uh, way in which Venice are built and uh, and, and can develop this issue of the housing right is something that we have to to stress a lot because we have also the maybe the opportunity to to open a road, no? You know that maybe also other cities can use. Uh, the same thing we, we, we maybe can take from others like in Barcelona when they stop eviction, they want uh, to uh, make um, Airbnb with some rules or another because also in the city, the other hand, uh, of course, is this problem of uh, the apartment, also the private apartment, people cannot, cannot, can't afford the, the rent also because of Airbnb, um, we have like more than 6,000 apartments in, uh, in the platform from Venice and uh, the 74% of it are, uh, are uh, all the apartments not just one room or some. Uh, of course, more than uh, 4,000 are apartments that some families or people or students cannot rent for the year for, to stay here. It's something that people cannot use. Uh, so, but yeah, we have something, the major and the municipality in, in this moment are not uh, uh, interested in uh, stopping or controlling, it's just to keep the, the three euros or four euros uh, from uh, each one that stay inside and this is just the <laughs> the the thing that is important for the administration now. So uh, we try yes also to to stress the point, the specific point of Venice, because we face uh, the possibility to have uh, maybe to win this this uh, or just to to make it that uh, to to accept our project. You know, because also are talking about an, another way to leave the neighborhoods and something that are good not only for the people that squat the houses, but also for the people that are around you. When we go in a neighborhood, for example, um, and try to to see what what is the empty apartment, uh, uh, there is the whole people that live there that say to us, "This is empty. This is empty. Go, come, come here." It's not something we don't. Yes, in some, some, sometimes we face also people that are, no, no, I don't want to stay, stay in a building with some illegal, okay. But it's a rare case. The, 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 the big part of them uh, say, yes, we have empty here, you can come, this is empty from 10 years, this is from 15, this is from 6 months and go on. And they want people that live with them also because they are very old, because there are no more welfare measures, so they also the public houses are the giving of public houses are very uh, stopped since uh, a lot of years here now in the, in Venice. So there are just old people that have no no more uh, a community around. They have no more a little shop maybe or something. So they also need people that live uh, around them. So um, I wanted to ask uh, how. Do you manage the the expense 
for the little renovation you have to do? Who is giving money? How can you collect the money? Etc. Okay, uh, everyone just put some money, of course, and uh, everyone from local. No, no, yes, if, um, yeah. For 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 example, uh, um. I don't know, we can see here uh, there is Nadia or Fabio or other people, uh, they they do the work inside their house, their, their house, and uh, we try of course to do all the work by ourselves, what we can do. Na naturally we, we need uh, the plumber for, the, also because we want to do the, the, the things in a good way for that. Uh, but yes, it's a uh, maybe some one of us has some um, money safe, maybe some money safe, and they put in the restoring of the house. <coughs> Sorry, in the restoring of the house. Some others are less money, so they do the work uh, slowly, like me. <laughs> uh, but yes, it, the thing is, of course, when you open a house that need work. Maybe it's 1,000 euro, maybe it's 5,000 euro, you don't know, really don't know in the, in the, in the first step. Uh, but it's something that we cannot do uh, starting from zero. Not something that we can, for example, manage with, with uh, an emergency, no? you know. We can manage it uh, if we have a, a family with uh, an eviction. We go and stop the eviction. If we try to, sp to speak with the institution. We try to find the solution. We, we, we of, co of course, we try to find the, uh, the solution uh, that proposed the institution, uh, the legal one. If it's not possible, of course, uh, and people um, have no other uh, and have no other solution to uh, to take, uh, of course, they decide to squat an apartment. It's all, always something that needs some works. Uh, there is some situations that are very bad, so we work together for the first period. There are, there are other apartments that are not so, uh, they not, don't need maybe 10,000 euro work, so we work just for ourselves. Uh, there are some other moments that we collect material from Rebiennale and we use inside the house, so the expense is very low. Uh, and it's also the um, pilot project that we do and we present in the project to the institution. Uh, we have an house, one house is in, entirely do in this with the um, with the uh, method uh, eco eco friendly yes uh, method with the uh, mud uh, and the uh, wood and stuff something that you we don't have a, a real expense uh, on it and uh, <clears throat> there is two apartments that are just pilot project mm -hmm. uh, and we of course make also the <clears throat> the um, table for the the prices now you to also to show how it's important also to make this uh, connection with maybe Bernale, other other uh, project or other university or, or other partner that uh, they also the municipality can use. So, uh, I think we should. Uh, it's very late now, yeah, so sorry. maybe uh, we stop and there. More, if you join our tour, you can ask yeah. all these questions. We'll discuss them later. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you.